Hey guys, welcome to Electrofile. It's been a while since I have uploaded any video, but here I am back again. In today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate you what my uh, one of the developed uh, PCB does and what, the, what are the features of that PCB. I recently developed a four layer board, which is also called as Arduino Sensor Shield. Uh, it is compatible with uh, Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. So this is what I ordered and after getting this, I completed the assembly of it and it looks something like this. It has a couple of sensors, a couple of LEDs and so on, which we'll get to in a few minutes. And then I uh, did the bring up test on my Arduino Uno, which I developed uh, based on the commercial Arduino, but better than commercial Arduino. So I'll just hook this up and then we will get with it. Perfect. So let me give you a brief about what the board does and what it is capable of and how many sensors I have incorporated in it. So we have some smart LEDs over here. I have a push button over here. I have a buzzer over here. I have a header which uh, where I can connect DHT 11 or 22 to get temperature and humidity data. I have ultrasonic sensor connection header over here that gives me distance. I have gas sensor. I have microphone over here. Then I have ambient light intensity sensor. I have 16 bit ADC that works on I2C bus. I have 12 bit DAC that works on I2C bus again. I have a header to interface RTC that works on I2C bus. I again have a header that is for SD card that works on SPI bus. And I have Bluetooth over here that works on the basic UART. And one of the important thing over here is the heartbeat. So these are all of the functionalities I have incorporated in my sensor shield. Now let's just plug it in and see. Perfect. So we have a couple of uh, indicator LEDs and now I'll just start. by demonstrating each functionalities one by one. First, I'll start with the NeoPixels. I'm using the normal standard Adafruit NeoPixels library, as you can see. Uh, it is connected on pin number three in my case, and there are four LEDs. So I'll just upload this code. So as you can see, we have a cool uh, functionality of NeoPixels running in normal uh, rainbow and standard program. So this is one of the functionality. Now I'll move on with the next functionality, which is the DHT tester, which is nothing but I'm testing the DHT. So I have my DHT sensor over here. And I'll plug that in. It's plus data and ground. This way, everything is mentioned or in the comments over here. And as you can see, I have that connected on pin number two. Now I will just connect this back again and upload my code. So just in a moment, it will upload. So we have uploaded the code. Now I'll just open my serial terminal and see if everything is working fine. And I'm getting the temperature, humidity and other parameters which we get from the DHT sensor. So this seems to work fine as well. Now moving on with the next sensor. I will interface the MQ7 sensor that is the carbon monoxide sensor uh, that is used for various applications 
throughout to get uh, to get the intensity of the gas nearby so as you can see i have that connected on uh, one of my analog pins which is on a2 so i'll just take that sensor i'll see and connect that this way is zero now i will connect this back again and uh, i'll just upload the code so here i have uploaded the code to check that instead of uh, doing that on serial monitor which gives me some values i would prefer doing that on serial plotter now the reason of that is uh, it will give me a great graphical representation of what exactly is going on so as you can see the graph is falling i'll just take my lighter i don't smoke but i have it just to test all of the sensor and i'll just allow the gas to flow as you can see the graph is increasing and then i'll stop i'll again press it it again increases so this shows that the value of the gas is directly proportional to the adc value if there is gas the value of adc is higher if not it it comes back to its normal state so this is how i have tested uh, adc now you can perform some mathematical calculations and uh, have that raw adc value uh, in ppm which is how the intensity of air is calculated in in most of the units the precipitation now i will move on with the demonstration of the next sensor i so i have uh, developed a code which demonstrates uh, the buzzer as well as the push button now my button is on L uh, 9 and my buzzer is on 5 so if you closely watch i have a lot of things written over there so just a moment so there's a lot of things written over there so everything that is written says that what sensor pen it is exactly connected on now i will connect that back again and i'll upload the code so what this basically does is uh, when i press the button it will just play some sound now i'll explain you why i'm doing all of that because everything has an application to it and that is the reason i have a bunch of uh, sensors uh, to develop those applications so i'll just press it so this is where i demonstrate my buzzer and my push button the push button is connected in uh, uh, normal mode which is uh, the pull down mode and when i press the button it gives me a high so on high i play the tone of the buzzer now i will explain you about the ambient light sensor now since uh, there are a couple of things i would like to mention over here the adc currently i am using is ads 115 that is a 16 bit adc and i have uh, it's a four channel adc as well so i have all of the four channels used one of is the differential measurement for the heartbeat one of the channel goes to the light intensity sensor and one of the channel goes to the hall effect sensor so this is how i have used all of the four sensors and it is communicating with i2c with my arduino so in my case i'll use a 12 bit version i just connect this up quickly and now i will connect this and upload the code
and again i'll open the serial terminal over here and see what i'm getting so light intensity is currently low i'll just keep my hand and see so we see it's decreasing now i'll again remove it it increases so so what we generally understand from this is when uh, it is again directly proportional to the light intensity if there is more light the value increases if not the value decreases i'll just turn my flash on to see if we get any value so it's increasing again offing it it comes back to its normal state keeping my hand it again goes lower to that so this is how we test the light intensity sensor and uh, moving on to the next sensor now i will demonstrate the ultrasonic sensor so let's see where we have that i'll connect that over here and then i'll have it like that i'll just place my scale over here with 10 as my mark and then i'll just connect this keep this aside i'll upload the code now and now i'll open the serial terminal so it gives wrong values now i keep my hand it should give me anywhere between 9 to 10 cm because that is what the scale is here and that is what we are getting so this is how we can test ultrasonic sensor now i'll just remove this again and we'll move on with the next sensor so we have tested this sensor we have tested the dht sensor we have tested the mq7 we have tested the ambient light and uh, now we will test the microphone so microphone is connected directly on to my adc pin on a1 so what basically i'm doing over here is i'm just reading the raw value of the adc and uh, plotting that on serial terminal to know that okay what exactly is happening i am uploading the code i'll open the serial plotter i'll maximize it and we we see uh, everything we get uh, in real time is analog in nature and uh, everything analog in nature is always fluctuating so if it's silent the values will be different if it's noisy it will be different so i'll just clap so as you can see how the value changes so this basically tells us that okay we are reading some value from the microphone and we can process that further on using filters and a lot of different software parameters so this is basic demonstration of how the microphone works now i will show you about uh, the rtc test now i have used a real time clock now the reason of using all of the sensor is again to develop applications that makes sense now some of the applications now it's been a while i have been talking about application and emphasizing that a lot so what basically i mean by that is if i have my rtc if i have my sd card and i have i have dht gas sensor and ambient light so i can create a weather monitoring station that can take the real time data from the world and store that in sd card with the time stamp so that will make more sense when we are uh, understanding that okay uh, this was the temperature at night at day during dawn and so on we have microphone we and we have the smart leds so we can make 
uh, application of equalizer so basically you must have seen that when a music plays there are a bunch of leds that goes up and down so that is what an equalizer is we have ultrasonic sensor and we have a buzzer we can make an application where uh, uh, length is length and distance is important and uh, uh, when while parking a car you are coming reverse and if you reach a certain limit the buzzer uh, the buzzer buzzes so that is one of the application we have a button and a buzzer so a doorway application can be created so this is how every uh, couple of sensors can be merged and made something out of it so now i'll just uh, run the rtc now it's monday over here it's uh, time is i would say 19 42 zero, 00 and then it's 16 so i'll just have this connected so the ground is that side it will be this way i'll just remove this and then i'll connect that i'll plug it again and now i'll upload the code we'll quickly see how uh, rtc can be helpful in our project i'm using ds uh, 2331 3231 sorry about that ds 3231 and i'll just open the serial terminal now board read is this and i'll just clear it so i'm getting a bunch of uh, values and uh, outputs now for the first time when you're uh, working with rtc you have to set the uh, values the day the time and the date and from there after it will move on from that time and date what you have uh, entered so i have just entered that now if i just remove it and uh, hold that for a while to see that okay if our temperature uh, if our rtc is working or not with the coin cell battery We'll wait for a couple of seconds more until it's 43. And now I will connect that again. And uh, I will connect that and see if uh, the time has changed for us as well. So it hasn't changed. The reason for that is uh, whenever you start a serial terminal, it resets the code and it starts from there. So you have to comment this out and re-upload the code so i'll just comment this out i'll re-upload the code so the date and everything is set i am re-uploading the code and then i'll wait for a couple of minutes to see if i'm able to get some data or not so it's uploaded i'll remove this i'll wait wait until the next uh, minute and see so we have something now i'll just come in there again. we open the terminal and we'll see okay so it is working so this is how you test the rtc sensor now the time is a little behind because uh, the time I uploaded this, it was way ahead of that. Now I'll just test the SD card. Remove this, we've tested this. I'll take the SD card. Uh, I have a 8 GB SD card in it. I'll just connect this by looking the connections. So ground is that side, so it will come like this. Now what this basically does is it takes three analog values and stores them uh, with a comma in every new line. So it's just a code that I made up and uh, 
now i'll just upload this now this is using the spi bus so we just open the terminal and see okay so we are getting some values as i mentioned that it is taking three analog values and uh, just printing them now whatever this is printing it is also storing it so i'll just disconnect this i'll remove this i'll remove the card and then i'll just plug this card over here and plug it in my laptop to see if we have some value so that was data log as you can see that was the file name i named while creating a new file and when i open that it has all the data that was printing on the terminal as well so this is how we can test out the sd card moving on to the next uh, functionality we will test the sign wave we have a 12 bit dag on a board and uh, that dag is not uh, doing it's it's generating the sign wave so the way we will see that is we have a uh, analog discovery kit with us and uh, i'll just keep it over here so that it's visible and i have a test point just beside the dac and then i'll connect this my laptop and then i'll open the software and then i'll go on to the scope and now i'll just connect my board and upload the code that generates the sine wave so this is my code and then i'll connect this on the test point over here so it's uploaded now i'll open and i'll press run over here so first i'm using channel 1 not the channel 2 so i'll close the channel 2 now i'm getting something but i don't know what exactly that is so what it basically means is i'll have to adjust the scale so now we are getting something i'll just increase the sine wave so as you can see we are able to get sine wave now that is repetitive in nature so we are able to see it so this is how you test the dac i'll just remove that and i'll just connect it back again and it seems to work fine so that is the demonstration of uh, the sine wave now i'll show you the hall effect sensor i'll just remove this i'll this 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 is where i have my hall effect sensor and i'm again using a 12 bit adc it is connected on one of the channel that is the channel 2 and i'll upload this code and then i'll open the serial plotter because that is the graph makes sense of what the values are so it's 9600 so we have a straight line i'm taking a magnet i am keeping that magnet close to the hall effect sensor we see it's increasing i'm removing it again it goes decreasing i am turning the sen the magnet and then i am again keeping it close and then i am turning it again and keeping it close so as you can see how the magnetic field changes with respect to north and south pole of the magnet 
and that is what we can see on the graph so that is a demonstration of how the hall effect sensor works and uh, let me just check if i have covered everything or not it seems i have covered all of the sensors i was not able to demonstrate the bluetooth uh, uh, connectivity sensor because uh, my bluetooth is not working anymore the module i have at c05 is not working anymore so i was not able to demonstrate that and i'm still working on the heartbeat uh, functionality that when i place a finger i should get the heartbeat it works on the photo uh, transition and photo reflection effect so i'm working on that so this is how uh, i have a full fledged uh, four layer sensor shield that has bunch of sensors and you can incorporate bunch of applications out of it so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, liked it so if you want the design files of that you can just uh, go on to my github account which is uh, uh, mentioned in the description below and you can just download i have used ltm designer to develop the schematic and the layout so that's all for today thank you guys